looks like Chris Ferguson is considering calling. This is what he's been doing for the first two matches, checking a small pair and calling when Ted Forrest bets. Turns an ace of hearts, pairing aces on the board. Chris checks, but that ace might make him feel it's less likely that Ted Forrest has an ace, and he might call again. Ted Forrest has bet 65000 He's got a great read on Chris Ferguson. He feels confident Chris Ferguson has a pair of fives or a pair of threes. And Chris Ferguson does not believe Ted Forrest again. It looks like he's going to call this 65000 The river. And eight of hearts, and now a full house for Ted. Chris checks, and now Ted's only dilemma is how much to bet. 155. He bets 155,000, which, by the way, is exactly half the pot. Chris has to decide. Did Ted raise before the flop, come out bluffing on the flop, come out bluffing on the turn, and is now putting in his fourth bet with absolutely nothing? He's called him in the past with hands like this. But not this time. He folds his hand, so Chris finally decides that Ted Forrest did, in fact, have a hand. Not before it cost him 155000 in chips. Ted Forrest takes down a big pot in this third and final match at the championship table. In talking with the pros, you'll hear them all say the same thing. The only way to get better for a heads-up event like this is practice, practice, practice. And now you can sharpen your skills with your Verizon cell phone. You can battle in a single table or tournament format. The game is from Abandoned Mobile and NBC Sports, and it's only available on Verizon Wireless. How do you call that on a flush draw? Back inside the Caesars Palace Poker Room, the best of three final tied at one apiece. Chris Ferguson and Ted Forrest vying for the national heads-up title. Ted Forrest here on the button with a 7-4 offsuit. And he is going to make it 80,000 to go. Not slowing down at all. Chris Ferguson with an ace, deuce of diamonds. And into his... Standard deliberation mode. Wow, he's going to go all in. Makes a rather large raise of his own. And Ted Forrest throws his hand away. Chris Ferguson is tired of trying to figure out Ted Forrest. He is in attack mode right now, and I think it's a good strategy. Well, for most of us, it's hard to figure out how Ted Forrest can read Chris Ferguson so well. Take a look at how he plays three different hands and try to spot his tells. That's not only how he plays poker. When he goes to a restaurant and the waitress asks him super salad, he goes into that pose. Methodical, the same body language for each and every play. Chris looks like a salad guy to me. What do you think, Matt? <laughs> I think Ted's looking at suited King Queen. Well, he raised before with 7-4 offsuit. Here he raises to 60000 with a King Queen of Diamonds, a really quality hand. And Chris also suited in diamonds, Jack Trey. We've seen Chris play a lot of hands like this, and he hasn't gotten lucky with any of them. He's flopped a little something when Ted Forrest has had a little better something. Looks like he's going to call here. And Chris would have no way of knowing that he doesn't want to make a flush here. Flush would be the worst possible thing. Two jacks are all right. Jack, eight, ace. He checks. Ted Forrest has got an inside straight draw. He doesn't even think about making a play there. Just check. The turn. Trip jacks for Chris Ferguson now. It's good enough to bet out 100000 and make Ted Forrest fold the hand. He folded that hand in such a way where he said to Chris Ferguson, I know you have a hand. This is what I'm doing. I'm throwing away one, two, three, just like that. Championship final tied one match apiece, and now Forrest and Ferguson are about even in the decisive third match.
The spectacular lights of the Las Vegas Strip. Welcome back to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, home of the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Heads well, we started with 64 players in the tournament. We're down to two, the third match in this best of three championship between Chris Ferguson and Ted Forrest. Chris Ferguson picks up a king nine on the button and just calls. Ted Forrest with his 6 3 of hearts is going to let it go. Very interesting that they're almost even in chips right now. And what a flop. Six king nine, top two pair for Ferguson, and a pair and a flush draw for Forrest. There's going to be fireworks in this hand. These players could go all in with this flop. This could be it. Wow. <laughs> Ted Forrest spent 40000 and Chris Ferguson just called. Still a chance for fireworks. Not on the turn card, however. No help there. Queen of Diamonds, a check from Forrest. That Queen of Diamonds did not help either player. And Chris Ferguson cannot wait any longer. He's got a bet here. That's 120000 Ted Forrest still has the pair in the flush draw. And a man like Ted Forrest could potentially do anything in this situation. It depends on how he's reading Chris Ferguson. How strong he feels Chris Ferguson is. He calls, so that pushes the pot up to 400,000 in chips. Chris Ferguson has got to avoid a heart or a six, and he will take a nice lead in this match. River, six of clubs. Oh, trip six is now for Forrest. And that was sort of the tricky out. I don't know why Ted Forrest is betting here, because if he checked, I believe Chris Ferguson was worried about a heart. He wasn't worried about a six. So Chris Ferguson would have bet, but he's worried now. He's going to call it 200000 but he knows something's going on. Uh, he will call and get the bad news. Ted Forrest takes down a big pot to take a commanding lead now with over a million in chips in this third and final match. How could this have been different for Chris? Could have been worse. If Chris Ferguson would have raised on the flop with his top two pair, I don't think Ted Forrest is getting away from his pair and flush draw. Chris Ferguson could have gone broke on this hand. Well, he didn't go broke, but he trails now 4-1. to one. Boy, that 6 on the river really changed the tenor of the match. Blind still at 20 and 40,000. King 7 offsuit for Ted Forrest. I'm all in. Wow, Whoa. he's going all in. He's going for the kill. This is not a bad play. He can either pick up the big blind or get in a race. Oh. He's going to have a race because Ferguson has called on Queen Jack. And right now, Ted Forrest is leading in the race. The King High is a 55% favorite. Whole cards. Turn them up, gentlemen. Ted shows King 7. He got the best hit. Chris says you got the Chris best hit. Chris is hand. firmly aware of the math down. here. Let's not waste time to let's put a king up there. <laughs> favorite right now. Chris Ferguson wants to be like Maverick, living on Jackson Queens here, and stay in this match. The flop, king, queen, deuce, a pair of queens for Ferguson, but kings for Forrest. Yeah, that was the bad part for Chris Ferguson. He got his queen, but Ted got his king. He needs a queen or a jack. Four of diamonds on the turn. Ferguson needs a queen or a jack here on the river. Anything else, and Ted Forrest is the new heads-up champion. Did that turn it up? Uh, King of Hearts, Ted Forrest, is the national heads-up poker champion. He was down 1-0 in the finals, came